I want all body cams, surveillance released, and also the officers that's involved with that, stop covering up for them. Release their names as well. Tonight we hear from the family of Trayford Pellerin for the first time since we learned the state police investigation has been turned over to the district attorney's office. Pellerin was shot and killed by Lafayette police last summer. The DA has had the case since mid-December. It will go before a grand jury, but a date has not yet been set. In the meantime, the Pellerin family is calling for the officers who killed uh, Trayford Pellerin to face charges. Three's on the street tonight. Victor George's is live in Lafayette. And Victor, the family could get some answers as soon as tomorrow. Yeah, the Pellerin family is meeting with the district attorney tomorrow. They're hoping to finally get some answers. We need justice, transparency, accountability, because Anyone who's seen the video could know this is, is blatant murder. It is overkill as well. It's been more than eight months since Strayford Pellerin was killed by Lafayette police. Their justification was that he had a knife and he was going to enter this convenience store. The family continues to dispute whether Pellerin was armed the night he was pursued by officers as he crossed the Evangeline Thruway. He was shot and killed near the entrance of a convenience store. So you had several bullets that went inside this convenience store. So is my son the threat or was the officers a threat? Because the shooting that they did and as many times as they've done, it wasn't justified. In their meeting with the DA Wednesday, the family is hoping to get a sense of where the case stands and why it hasn't yet been presented to a grand jury. And how much investigation you need to see that somebody was shot 11 times with no weapon and just basically just murdered. And activists are planning to gather here tomorrow morning in front of the DA's office. And that's while the family meets with the district attorney. We did reach out to DA Don Landry, who says he cannot comment, citing ongoing investigation. Three's on the street. I'm live in Lafayette. Victor Georges, KTC TV3.